our channel this is love a divine calling and thank you very much for coming to our channel for watching the video and thanks also as well for watching the last video now i don't know why i had it in my head but i think i do know now I had it in my head that we were approaching a Virgo full moon, which we're not. We had actually just come out of a Virgo full moon. But the story with Virgo and Pisces right now is so embroiled and intertwined. Even though it is the time, the age of Pisces, as I say, we're heading into this Virgo north node, Pisces south node within a smaller time frame, which is going to be towards the end of this year. Even although within the bigger time frame, which we call the age of something, the age of, okay, which lasts for like mm, thousands and thousands of years. Um, we're in the age of Pisces, which means that Pisces is the north and Virgo is the south. So there's a very special time coming up and there's lots and lots of dancing and lots and lots of stuff going on right now, particularly with Pisces um, showing up. As I say, we've just had this Virgo full moon that we've come out of. And any time that Pisces is involved in anything, or any time that Virgo is involved in anything, Pisces, as its opposite, is going to be involved. And Pisces is basically our entire um, consciousness, our link to every single being, both across the spiritual world as well as the earthly realm. Whereas Virgo is pretty much mostly the earthly realm. So. Any time you hear anything to do with Pisces, it is going to be something that will involve you because we are all connected as sentient beings across this soul, sort of eternal and spiritual, timeless connection for each and every single one of us. Okay? So anytime you hear anything to do with Pisces, that's what actually Pisces is all about. It's, all about. it's the 12th house, it's the final house, it is the spiritual, okay? And so anytime we're here on earth and we're talking about the spiritual, we've also got the, the opposite, which is also connected. Um, here on earth, there is no disconnection between the spiritual and the earthly realm. So the two and work in tandem, both Pisces and Virgo. So what's happening then is obviously as you evolve and as you're increasing your awareness and your intelligence, you work towards the 12th house, which is the Pisces house. And as your mind expands and you're able to understand and grasp concepts that are usually beyond human intelligence, more of it will come down to earth. This is what's happening in this time of Pisces. And now we have a full moon that we're approaching, actually. For some reason, I had thought that it was a, I was getting something about the 16th. What's happening on the 16th is like an exact square with this Pluto Uranus, which is like the final in the story, which has been going on for um, a couple of years now, actually. Well, actually since 2012. It's so coming like two, two and a half, two and a bit years, uh, two, three years. And so that's what's happening around the 16th. But then after that, what we're approaching is this new moon in Pisces. So... There's going to be a huge, big impact on all of us because it's a phenomena at the moment. Not only is it a phenomena that it's going to be a super moon, okay, which means it's going to be really powerful in terms of how it's seen, but also the fact it's really close as well to the Earth. Um, and it is a solar eclipse, okay? So we're actually having a solar eclipse too. It is mega powerful, this type of um, phenomena, this type of occurrence is absolutely huge within itself but not only that but we actually have three of three super moons but not just three super moons three super moons in the sign in the one sign in an entire year what sign is it in is it pisces in other words that means that it's really calling to all of humanity through the spiritual world that is the big message because that's what pisces is so you don't have to be a Pisces for this to impact you. You actually just have to be a sentient spiritual being. So this is impacting everybody. And this is why veganism is on the rise. Because more people are having this ethereal, um, spiritual to also connection. Their intelligence is increasing. Awareness for the soul, for the spirit is increasing. And that is an upon impact on intelligence. Okay? At a human level. 
and therefore there's this huge increase in veganism as well because the more you understand your own spiritual soul connection to the divine the more you understand every being's spiritual connection across sentience so animals everybody with a heart and a soul all sentience so therefore we have this major awakening on planet earth which is virgo okay and this is happening so it's like an ascendance of spirituality and it's all kind of reaching out it's actually impacting the world the frequency of earth the actual planet is changing and yes some people talk about plants plants are alive yes everything's alive everything is alive but right now in our evolutionary awareness sentience which is our beings that have hearts and souls um, our animals and humans okay but yes the world itself is all living and all connected in energy energy wise and the actual frequency of this energy is said to be um, extending and increasing it's actually kind of growing in its frequency level its frequency level is raising okay um, for the actual earth this is how we all impact each other and how astrology and astronomy is important to all of us because we're all having a part to play in it. If you're really, really kind of far down the scale of awareness, you're not going to see this and you're probably going to have to do a lot more astrological astronomy, kind of like looking and digging into things in a scientific way. Whereas if your intelligence is really kind of heightened, you're not really going to have to do very much to know and just to kind of understand this. This is a gift of the 12th house. Anyway, but I like to kind of look, I like to go back down and do the kind of fun stuff as well to show the connections with the astrology too. Whereas I don't concentrate on it because I'm way ahead in terms of I see the spiritual as the utmost importance and then I'll come back down to this. But I'm just trying to show how everything's connected from the spiritual to all of the multiverses, all of the planets within this universe and then therefore our planet Earth and us. Okay, so we're all impacting the frequency of Earth as our intelligence raises, we impact the entire environment. Okay, so veganism is impacting the entire environment. The level and the frequency of Earth is changing. We are all changing as a species and as a knock-on impact, everything else is changing. Our other species and um, the animals are changing as a result too. We are their guardians, so we are also role models. So the way that we behave and interact impacts them. They impact the environment, okay? We're all impacting through these lines of species, species okay? And the sentient beings are having an impact even on the, the earthly plane, the, the, the very kind of Virgo-ness, the actual energy of the planet in itself. So this is such an exciting time. We are approaching this um, Pisces new moon, which a lot of people are saying, oh my goodness, you know, educate this and educate. No, Pisces is far more developed than that of what we are seeing here just on the earthly realm, this Virgo idea of just it being here and that we need to educate each other. Even this, me speaking to you, is on that kind of level. No, actually, all of our intelligence, I don't even need to speak to you here right now, but I am because I want to use different modes of frequency. I use more modes of frequency than just this one method, which is on video and to speak. I actually go beyond, obviously, being 12th house and being a Pisces. I'm very adept to that. I'm very used to that. And so I um, use my telepathy. I use my energy. I use um, my psychic ability, um, which is, I would kind of tend to veer away from psychic ability and say more my soul communication. That's probably more accurate and more up to date. Um, so I use that as well. And I try and be as consciously aware as possible with what I'm thinking, consuming on thought level, as well as um, what I consume, obviously, on my plate. And that is that intelligence there between all the connections of what, you know, what we're doing and being mindful about it, being mindful about our lives. So when we're coming up to this new moon, it's not going to be as much like this about 
um, education or sharing of information in this way. Pisces, my sign, is actually going to be more about stepping back and going into oneself um, to connect with the wider one. And in doing that, it will increase, further increase our mindful living, which will then act as an activation for those around us and the entire world through simply being and vibrating on a level of love and conscious awareness. And that is why love is essential for veganism. Platonic, pure platonic divine love, it's that connection to soul. And that just simple knowing. And it's through simplicity that there is this greatest wisdom in the silence and just being and emitting your vibration from there. So that in itself is also a facilitation for others to do the same. And it's that same frequency, it's like the frequency, how that's a facilitation in itself to increase the vibration of the earth, to increase the frequency of the earth. And so it's all similar and all linked, okay? And we can do that just through going back into ourselves. The vibration in itself, not just having to see us living a certain life, but actually um, behind the scenes just living in your integrity as you would in your vegan lifestyle and um, eating vegan foods and doing all your, you know, all your vegan living, all that is simply enough in itself to actually emit the most powerful vibration to be in the moment and living it. So that's what the new moon is going to be all about for the 20th. And so what we're going to do is, during this video, I want you to simply be mindful of your thoughts and thinking of the most happiest and positive thoughts and loving thoughts, first and foremost for yourself and your own divine soul essence and what you deserve and that you deserve love, peace. <clears throat> and it, that's what you deserve to consume from thought to what's on your plate. And this in itself has a knock-on impact on every other single being. So I want you just to take a step back and we're going to go into a meditation. Okay? And what I want you to do is you can actually follow the movements that I move because I'm going to channel the movements, be mindful movement. Um, or you can close your eyes completely. Or you can do it one way and then do it another way. You can reuse the video um, for this meditation. And here we go. So I'm going to channel the whole meditation. It's completely natural and in the moment, okay? Completely spiritual um, meditation I'm channeling now. Nothing scripted, okay? All right. So. And the words that are coming to me are love. Worthiness. Goodness. Vibration, intelligence, clarity, focus, ethics, sentience. I am a worthy, soulful, spiritual being having an earthly experience and I am here to combine all aspects of my being and my soul mission holistically in love and acceptance 
from my soul mission and all that it includes on this earthly experience. It is my divine right to hold and take forward within this body my divine soul essence and spiritual soul path mission. My spiritual soul path mission will take on any form that it decides useful and appropriate in alignment with heart and soul love of the purest platonic kind. And with that, my awareness and intelligence grows and further facilitates every single being as well as myself to grow in love and awareness and grow even deeper into a veganism which facilitates others to have a lovely life full of blessings, peace, harmony, and soul and heart aligned truth, which further awakens them, further awakens me, and all of us together on this earthly plane and beyond this earthly plane, ever evolving to a better and greater life for all within both the physical and the spiritual realms. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me and many vegan blessings to you, to your family, to all the beings that live with you, to all the beings that live around us on this planet Earth and may we live in this love and hope, faith and knowing most importantly, which is the Piscine 12th house, that knowing really needs to, and it will be, coming down more and more in this time frame on this planet Earth. And so with that, the veganism will rise and continue to rise. And thank you so much for everybody on your journey. Um, best of wishes on your journey. And look back here to our channel for more of these meditations, these mindful movements as well. And also um, for different ideas as well on your vegan journey. You will find them all here. We are going to be sharing different products with you when different places open. New vegan places are completely vegan. We'll let you know. We won't be talking about um, so much kind of places that are vegetarian, vegan, no. We do not, we have a zero tolerance on any kind of not good stuff and we really want to continue to promote the fairness and equality for all sentient beings so none are left out and none are treated differently. So therefore it will all be about veganism and when anywhere opens it's vegan that's new we will let you know about that. We will be celebrating with you all and we'll be letting you know what we're doing actually in our own kind of vegan lifestyles as well, what's happening. And our building of sanctuary and how we are going in our own kind of space as well and our kind of type of sanctuary because in a way we do hold sanctuary within our own um, space. We also have three cats as you know and it's their birthday today yeah it's actually their real birthday today for the twins anyway and um, we celebrated it already last sunday but we're going to be celebrating it again today and um, last sunday was also the book launch for delicious vegan delights for fluffy friends which you can get via amazon and oh and i better just mention one more thing it is actually coming up on mother's day on the 15th this sunday and you can get a hold of our um, what we've made within our own kind of time space, our own kind of vegan sanctuary, if you like, for ourselves. And have this type of sanctuary for you too. You can share all these wonderful activational ideas through getting the book Delicious Vegan Delights, the first book. It is going to be on a special offer from, I actually think it might be from today, all the way 
um, up until Mother's Day. Yes, I think it is, I think it is. And um, so if you go ahead and have a look at that now, actually, um, probably better go and have a look at it now for the best deal because it goes up in increments back up to its original price again. So the first day, um, it's obviously at its um, at its kind of biggest discount off. I think it's like two ninety nine or something dollars at the moment. I don't know what that means in pounds. I think it's about one pound sixty or something like that. Go and check it out anyway. I'm not sure of all the exact, so I don't get too kind of involved into that. But yeah, I do know that it isn't a special offer to make it widely available, more widely available for everybody. Um, and also still kind of like feedback into kind of our projects and things. So it's excellent. So you can go and do that. Um, you can feed into the veganism projects as well as um, get something really great and activational for your parents or for anybody, even if it's not for Mother's Day, you can still get it for yourself. You might want to just treat yourself to that. So, I mean, Mother's Day is about all beings and that's the next thing that I want to come on to. Um, we are also doing this celebration for Mother's Day because, you know, to be able to um, have birth, have life on this planet Earth from the spiritual, as we say, this Pisces connection, we're all connected. Every sentient being, therefore, is going to be in celebration this Mother's Day, but not just for the one day. This should be for every single day. All sentient beings and all lives are worthy every single day. And life is something to celebrate. For every sentient being every single day. So have a wonderful Mother's Day and beyond and before. Um, make sure you get your delicious vegan delights. You can also get delicious de vegan delights for fluffy friends as well, which is available for cats and dogs and all sentient beings. Um, I am wondering what else I've got to tell you. I think that's about it. Look forward to, um, to next week as well. Very activational. And particularly with this new moon in Pisces, it's going to be a great time, really take time to go in, inward and meditate and envision what you want to see in terms of veganism, what you want to create more of that's great in your life and in others, for all the animals, for all sentient beings, for all of us. And just be mindful of what you're, what you're giving your attention to, what you're focusing on. Focus on life, nurture life. That's what um, this 15th is going to be about, Mother's Day, for all of us, from starting from ourselves. It has to start within what we know, our own divine connection. We can't take it any further unless we have that rooted in our own divine connection. So Mother's Day is going to be a day for everyone with a divine connection, okay? To Mother Earth, to Mother Spirit. Um, however you want to say it, your own self, okay, as um, a nurturer of your own life and how you're going to flourish forward and how that impacts the wider world. Have a wonderful um, rest of your week and we will speak to you very, very soon.